Newsflash, it's 2022 and your iPhone videos still glitch in DaVinci Resolve. No, here, let's pull it up. I have iPhone footage that I shot just this morning. I have all these files that I just imported into DaVinci Resolve and let's just see. Guys, it's 2022. Now, this may sound comical, but I have an iPhone 12 and it's literally still doing this in DaVinci Resolve 18. I work with iPhone footage on the regular week in and week out. I even do some product commercial work for small businesses where they may have customers that have some iPhone clips that they want to integrate into one of their latest commercials. So I've worked with iPhone 13, 12, 14, doesn't matter. All we have to do is highlight all of the clips, right click and generate optimized media. Head over to the playback tab on the top of DaVinci Resolve. Make sure that use optimized media if available is checked. And as you can see, as we scrub through this timeline, there is not a single glitch in any one of these clips. One thing to note is that these optimized files aren't necessarily optimized for space. So what you have to do is make sure that you're monitoring the folder that all of these optimized files are being rendered into. Head over to the cog wheel at the bottom right and under master settings, if we scroll down just a bit, we see working folders and under cache files location, this is where all your files are gonna be saved. So make sure you save it wherever you want it to save to. I do recommend this drive being an SSD because it's taking these files directly from that drive in order to render them onto your live timeline. But in any case, when your project is complete, you can go back into that folder, which for me is in this SSD drive under cache clip. And I can literally go through each one of the files, highlight all of them and delete them. Because if not, you'll notice that these optimized media files can get anywhere between 100, 200, sometimes 300 gigs if you're not monitoring them. So that's it guys, it is currently November 8th, 2022. As of today, this still works. I use it day in, day out, week in and week out on multiple projects. iPhone 12, 13, 14, doesn't matter, it works for all of them. If you have any issues, please let me know in the comments. That way when I see your comment with your specific issue, I can try and figure out another remedy. If you like creating videos, editing videos, shooting videos, make sure you check out some of the other videos on this channel. But until then, I'll see you guys in one of my next videos. That's a lot of videos.